There is something of value to be gained from each and every job. It could be a skill that is easily transferable, or it could simply be determined that the industry or position is not the right fit for you. That alone is information that would be very helpful to have. Finding the role that is suited for you doesn't always have to be about the pay. Sometimes, you can decide on what it is based on your interests. Welcome to Money Talk, where we discuss tips on making money. And for this video, we are going to talk about choosing your career by looking at your own interests. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive updates and be the first to check out our latest videos. The first major question you need to ask yourself, what is important to you in life? Your career choice is one of the most significant decisions you'll ever have to make. The first step is to reflect on yourself and recognize what is most valuable to you when it comes to looking for a job. In order to answer this question in depth, you will have to conduct a self-assessment. Through this process, you will be able to think about the things that are most important to you, how you wish to be employed, and your needs and expectations. Asking yourself these questions about your interests, passions, strengths, skills, and even personality type can help you do a self-assessment. Question 1. What are my key values? Financial security, helping others, working autonomously, and having a flexible work-life balance are examples of values. These are your personal core values which you can then compare to the company's values to see if you both agree. Remember that you spend many hours in your lifetime in your chosen career. It will be much easier if your career aligns with your core values in life. Question 2. What soft skills do I possess? Personal habits and characteristics are examples of soft skills. You have the power to dictate how you work. These can include abilities such as leadership, communication, problem-solving abilities, inventiveness, and adaptability. Concentrate on identifying the abilities you believe will be useful in your career. When considering a career, will you work independently, have the opportunity to problem-solve, or be part of a team? Question 3. What technical skills do I possess? Hard skills such as technical skills are learned through education and or training. Technical expertise or skills that are simple to identify and evaluate fall into this category. Data analysis, planning, research, computer programming, and photography are a few examples. Do you enjoy these learned skills and can you see yourself using them in your career? Question 4. What natural abilities and strengths do I have? Think about the things you are good at, like writing, leading, selling, managing projects, communicating, and solving technical problems. Usually, the things that you are good at doing, you also enjoy doing. I'd even venture to say that we get better at things we enjoy doing and therefore increase our strengths and abilities. Question 5. What's my personality like? One of those widely used personality tests that people frequently take to make links between their work and their personality is commonly referred to as the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. But you can always know your characteristics without taking assessments. You can ask yourself or other people who know you well in order to identify your traits. Are you curious? Open to new options? Trustworthy? Responsible? Fair? or loyal, just to name a few. Question 6. What am I interested in? Technology, literature, medicine, design, or working with children, animals, or in the public sector can all be examples of personal interests. You'll want to look for opportunities that blend your abilities, skills, and passion in the latter stages of the process. The second major question you might ask yourself to select a profession is, where do I go from here? 
After gaining better knowledge of your priorities and objectives in a job, you should begin exploring jobs that sound intriguing or appealing. If there is a career you know little about, jot it down and study it. Who knows? That might be the career path meant for you. It can also be helpful to realize that job titles do not necessarily describe the position accurately. The job description may meet your qualifications. Here are some techniques to facilitate the process as you begin to catalog the possible prospects. Make a list of interesting industries. Does a specific field of work catch your eye? Is there a certain type of work that naturally appeals to you, such as fashion, business, or education? Consider looking into your friends' family friends or acquaintances' career paths. Think about your interests and passions. Take a look at your self-assessment again. Are there any activities or jobs that don't feel like a chore at all? Or perhaps you can do work that involves kids. If so, you could consider working in fields where you can work directly with kids, help them with their education, or even be a part of social services. Reach out to the people you know. Do any of your friends or coworkers have occupations that you're interested in? Inquire about the positions held by people you know and the jobs they think you'd be a good fit for. Interview people to get information. This conversation allows you to learn more about a professional's daily experiences and the skills that led to their employment. It also gives you the chance to get advice from experts, tips on how to find related work, and ways to get ready for an interview. Check the job specifications. You must be aware of the training, education, certifications, and other qualifications needed before choosing a profession. Your selection of far more suited careers may get shorter if you decide that meeting certain conditions isn't best for you. Examine growth opportunities. Figure out if there is a chance for you to advance in your chosen field of employment. That means that you'll have a lot more options and have the time to progress professionally and learn new skills in order to take on a greater degree of accountability. Now, before I go on, let me know if this video was helpful by giving us a like and subscribing to our channel for more videos. Now, let's get back to the discussion. Now the last thing you can ask yourself when picking a job is, what do I want to do next? Now is the time to make career goals for the near and distant future. Having done sufficient study, you are now ready to proceed. Plan ahead and visualize where you want to be in a year, five years, or even 10 years from now. Planning about where you want to be in the coming years and how you're going to get there can be intimidating at first, but you can make it easy by determining your long-term goal and then breaking it down into smaller milestones. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. Also, feel free to leave us a comment. If you want to watch more videos, head on over to our channel to see more from Money Talk. See you!